William with the Riverstone Life, and yes, we are gonna go do our first load, and we're going to Sturgis. Yeah, not the Sturgis you think. Did you know they have Sturgis in Michigan? I did not know that until yesterday. And I actually got to pick that load. Um, it was my first choice. I had like three of them in case people beat me to it because I wasn't gonna leave last night. I told you in my other video that um, I needed to, you know, watch some of these videos and get an idea what I was doing. And I think it helped me, but I was still, still very slow at getting this thing picked up today and doing what I was doing. Um, still don't know everything. It's gonna take four or five deliveries to get it all figured out. But I, this, this delivery is going right back to Pennsylvania where I need to be. It pays $895. So, um, you know, I'm gonna about break even on what I spent um, going there, paying for the class, um, the hotels, the fuel, and the things that I needed, and then the fuel to get back. So about break even. I didn't make any money, but I didn't lose any money. I still have the original investment in the $1,400 worth of stuff that I bought so I can do this work. So, you know, but that's tax deductible. So I still gotta work that stuff off out of this. Um, so I, I, I'm actually kind of happy. I, I think it worked out for me better than I expected, unless I was gonna do three or four runs. I figured if I came down here and did three or four runs, um, then it would all work out, but I needed to get back. And I also wanna study this um, apps this, and make sure that I'm doing everything right. So I'm just gonna you know, go this route. Now there's one other thing that I did not say in these videos that I didn't even realize. You have a damage, dispo damage deposit. So if you get in an accident, they have the deductible and they have this in your account so that they can pay the deductible if there's an accident. Um, really, nobody ever said anything about that in any of the paperwork or talked to me about that on anything. So that I was surprised about. And I, I did hear somebody on YouTube mention it once, but they didn't go into detail, so I didn't know what they were talking about. But basically, you either gotta give them $1,500 to put in that account or they take 10% off your jobs until you have that money in your account. So, I mean, that was nice because I, I, mean, I, I could have gave them the 1500 bucks, but I would not have been happy about it. So they took like $80 out of this delivery to go into that fund. So, you know, it's gonna take seven, eight trips at least, maybe more than that, depending on how big of the trips are. It can take 10 trips, but you'll get that money in there in case you ever have it. And I know when you quit, you get that money back. But if you get in an accident, that's what that's for is the deductible. And then they start you all over again with another $1,500 um, money that has to be in that account. So, or I don't know if you get in an accident, it's your fault. You might not be working there anymore. But that's another expense that I really don't have to hear people talk about. But I wanted to put that in this video um, so you're prepared for that. But what it is, when you get ready to sign your contracts and everything, you'll have a spot where you can circle this where they just take 10% out of every one of your jobs. And another thing too, when that $195 also pays for, it pays for two of these plates you gotta have in Indiana. One gets stuck up in the front of the window up here when you're only in Indiana, not any other state, just Indiana. And then you put one of them on the back of the RV, or I mean the fifth wheel or the travel trailer or whatever you're hauling. And then you got your decals that go, or not really decals, your magnets that go on each side of your pickup truck so that they can see that. But um, that's what that $195, and I'm sure it's paying for the people that taught the class too. So that's, you know, that's just, it is what it is. Um, so I wanted to throw that in this video, but we're gonna get this thing and get it all uh, hooked up and get it delivered. I'm not in a big rush because the way I left and everything, I had to have it delivered in Pennsylvania by 4 30 today that wasn't going to happen even if i got if i got that thing hooked up in a half an hour and got everything done like they said i would and then i was able to drive as fast as you could on the fastest route they had there um i i would have made it right at like five o'clock so i i'm like you know what i'm gonna take my time take some different route and not worry about it and uh because i just needed to get back anyways right now for some other things that we have to take care of um but we will add some more to this video about everything I did getting hooked up and show you what I'm hauling and then maybe um, when we deliver it I can get a little video there it's going to a camper world that's the funny part because if you watch some of my other videos I kind of bitch about camper world camper, camper world everybody bitches about camper world but um, yeah that's 
not going to go over well when I pull in there and they, and they read the, the Riverstone Life across the windshield and then she signs me all out and then goes in there and um, checks me online. Probably, probably not going to be a good idea. Probably going to have to be a little nicer from now on. <laughs> but anybody that's dealt with Camping World, they, they know what I'm talking about. So we'll be back. <laughs> That's what we're hauling today. A little campsite reserve, 26 foot travel trailer. You know, just a little thing made by Forest River. You know, got our plate put on, got our lug nuts all checked, got their air pressure checked, got all the doors and everything shut, got all the pictures taken. You know, it's a, you know, it's, it's a pain in the butt, I'm gonna tell you. Just so many little things and the things they tell you don't work the way they're supposed to. The things ain't where they're supposed to be. Just a lot of things like that. The app doesn't work the way you want it to. It's a learning. It's a whole learning lesson. So, But now we got it. We're in here in uh, Michigan. Actually in Michigan. Um, it's about an hour from where I was originally. But this one's going back to Pennsylvania. So we're going to take this to Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, Camper World. So let's get in the truck and see what happens. camping world and it looks like everything's in perfect condition just the way it is so let's just take a look at this thing and just remember if you're first time getting into this thing you always want to take lots of pictures maybe even do a video like I do showing that there's no damages or anything on it everything's in the perfect condition because I've been told that these places like to blame the delivery guys for screwing stuff up and they always charge it back later on and it'd be nice to have something to just to cover yourself you know might not ever happen but it's better to be ahead of the game than behind the game right but just remember if you like these videos give us a thumbs up if you like what me and robin are doing on the channel subscribe to the channel and our first delivery is in the books thank you for watching always